looking to be stewards of a system uh, that's facing uh, pressure from growth and that's also facing pressure from limited resources. So we're moving from a kind of standards-based, one-size-fits-all approach to uh, project development to performance-based planning that is really looking at, uh, at safety and system performance. We're making that a part of everything we do. The Washington State Department of Transportation is taking a new approach to safety analysis throughout their organization. This new approach is called data-driven safety analysis, and it's allowing the agency to make more informed decisions, better target their investments, and reduce fatal and serious injury crashes on their roadways. Data-driven safety analysis is the application of the latest generation of tools for analyzing crash and roadway data. The tools predict the safety impacts of decisions throughout the project development process, so agencies can deliver projects with more confidence. Yeah, Data-driven safety analysis is, is critical in our development of projects, and we at WatchDOT have, have closely aligned that with a very uh, practical approach uh, in all of our policies and procedures. Uh, really gone are the days where we apply a standard to the project in hopes that it will give us the benefit. Uh, we have to be much more strategic today in how we do that. You know, from our perspective, you start wrong, you're going to end wrong. So the ability to bring the safety data analysis right in the very beginning helps you to identify the right planning level solutions. And by identifying those planning level solutions, you can bring it throughout the project development process. The Highway Safety Manual and other data-driven safety analysis tools let you look at the whole picture and model a location to, to evaluate the safety performance on more than just how many crashes have occurred at that, that spot. It's more like what's the best thing to do in that situation. And so you could, you could fine tune things um, this is what we want to do, but if we did something a little bit differently, it would be safer by this many crashes. We always used standards, and, and that was good because it allowed us to do things consistently across the state, but we really need to be using more tailored approaches and get the most bang for the buck. So we like to start at a practical level, start down at the base, use our tools to see what the ultimate configuration should be without compromising um, safety or the motorist's experience. The ability to be able to target uh, solutions allows you to come up with or come out with practical solutions, solutions that are uh, relevant, that are meaningful to address what you are actually um, faced with as far as crashes along a corridor. We're a target zero state. Our safety plan is target zero with the goal of zero fatalities and serious injuries by 2030. And so uh, people are recognizing that there's a shift that's needed to take place. And I think our use of data is helping them get there. Working in safety is very special because it's very personal. It impacts all our families. And so my job is to do whatever I can to bring people safely home. And that is my tool uh, because I can't use my gut, I can't use perception, I need to rely on data and methods and science. This isn't simple, it's, it's hard work, but what we do as agencies is hard work. This, this hard work is paying off for the Washington State DOT. My question to someone who would oppose it is why not? It's just such a useful tool um, in helping you make the most informed decision, spending the public's money in the best way possible. It's not going to hinder your design in any way. This is another quantitative tool that you have moving forward, and it should be at the forefront of everyone's mind. 